Oh, hello guys. Today I'm in the office and I've been working on this LED panel, getting it configured um, and ready for the customer so that uh, the color light card is fully configured and it's all ready to go. But as you can see, I've run into the problem that a number of you have faced recently in that when using a version 8.2 color light card, um, we're getting this uh, really bad flickering. Now I've had a little bit of a look at it and the problem appears to be related to the firmware uh, installed on the color light card when it's come out of the factory. This one is using version 13.39 of the firmware. And when I checked another card earlier, that was running version 11.04 and it didn't have the flicker. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to downgrade the firmware on this card back down to 11. Um, we'll have a look and see what versions of 11 are available to us. I'm going to downgrade it to version 11 and hopefully we'll take the flicker away. Now I'm going to be using some software here called LED Upgrade, which I'll link to in the description below. And I'll also put a link to the firmware uh, file, the FW file, uh, in the description as well, so that you've got both and you're able to, uh, to run it yourself. Now looking at the PC here, I'm in LED vision, so I'm just going to come out of that. There we go. And I'm going to go into LED upgrade. Now this needs to be run as administrator, so I'm just going to right click and run as administrator and just click yes. There we go. Now I'm going to go into send mode and make sure that it's on net card. If you've just installed it, it will be on sender mode and you need to change to net card. Once that's done, we can detect receiver cards. There we go. And we can see that this is a version eight card running version 13.39 firmware. Now we're going to drop that firmware back down to, as I said, to version 11. So I'm just going to put a check in the checkbox here to say that this is the one we're working on. And I'm going to go to upgrade firmware. Now we're actually going to go with a downgrade, but this is the method that we use. So I'm going to go into preset firmware and go for normal. And we've got normal 1109. So I'm going to give that a go. So we'll go for a normal 1109, OK. My LED panel has now gone blank whilst the firmware gets installed. And it shows us over on the right hand side here the status of the upgrade or downgrade in our case. There we go, it's happening. And it is now said upgrade successfully. And over on the left, please power off and on. So I'm going to turn. I'm going to turn the matrix off. Just count to ten, and then we can power it back up. There we go. It's come back on. We haven't got a display because I haven't touched LED vision yet, so it hasn't given us the LED vision screen. But if I now click on detect again, we can see the re receiver version has now changed to 5A1109. So it was on 13.39. We're now back down to 11.09. So the firmware has changed on the card. If I come out of LED upgrade now and go into back into LED vision, there we go. There is our display and it's rock solid this time. There's no flickering, no messing about. Uh, it's all done for us. So it's now behaving exactly as it, it would be expected. So there we go. I have a short one today. I hope you found that useful. As always, please do like and share and don't forget to subscribe. I know I've not been very busy on uh, YouTube of late, just life has been uh, 
very, very busy, so I've not had the time to sit down, do videos, um, and then double that again for the editing and getting it all ready. So uh, apologies, we will get back to it, and I hope to see you fairly soon. Take care, see you soon, and catch you at Expo if you go in.